our son John was a senior in high school and he had been adamant he was going to join the army and his 18th birthday was a week after 9-11 uh, so all of our friends and all of his friends uh, there was a big concern whether, you know, there were people supporting us to let him uh, enlist that, you know, their four years in the Army was the, def you know, defining point of their lives and they, they were made them men and we had other friends that were saying, we know folks in Canada, <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. he doesn't have to do this. Um, so the big discussion of this horrible thing has happened and what can be done about it and the concern about John's future as a person. And John was a senior in high school and um, so we wanted him, if he was going to enlist, to go in as an officer and go to school first. Um, but the deal was we would take him to all the colleges that were of interest to him and if he still needed, felt like he needed to go, um, then we, he would go with our blessing and, and that's what happened. Um, a year later uh, he turned 20, uh, or 19 rather, and uh, enlisted and uh, was sent to Iraq with the 173rd Airborne. And then in 2003, um, he was caught in an ambush and, um, and killed. It's hard to believe that John had just turned 20 when he was killed, but there were so many others like him um, at that time. It's hard to capture the mood today of what the country felt um, then. The good people of the world can um, set the agenda. We, we create something good out of tragedy because th that's what decent people uh, do in circumstances like this and it allows us to create some um, meaning from uh, the chaos that was brought to, to our door. 9-11 day as a, as a day of service has not so much remembering um, the tragedy, but of our reaction to it, and and that being the uh, police and the firemen that you know ran in to to rescue people, uh, the people that were there that you know helped each other out, and also the uh, young people that uh, decided to enlist in the military because for certain uh, they were going to be needed. And I remind people, you know, they didn't ask John if he thought we should invade Iraq. He did what he was, what he was sent to do. Mm -hmm. And he wrote us and he told us on the phone uh, his unit the, with the 173rd had been sent to northern Iraq to protect the Kurds. Mm -hmm. And he said they were f fine people and really worth all the effort. Mm -hmm. And I, that's what I remember is, that's what John was doing. He was protecting people. For a long time there weren't organizations that supported families in our situation and uh, a few years into it um, Cindy McGinty who you interviewed and some of the other 9-11 uh, families reached out to us to try to help us create a support organization for uh, military uh, killed in action families and the, and the wounded mm -hmm. and um, so we were able to uh, this is our opportunity to repay them mm -hmm. for um, the tremendous service that they provided us and at the time we were uh, really alone um, in a very difficult spot and the, the Vietnam veterans reached out to us and, and made a point of saying that they had come home too 
and they would never see what happened to them happen to the current generation of soldiers. And um, that changed the attitude of the American public to really look into the well-being of, of these um, troops. And we had uh, received a call from John um, a week before he died saying that he would be killed on a particular road and that they didn't have body armor or, or vehicular armor and that he asked us to, to help. And that was the, the last conversation we ever had with him. Mm -hmm. And uh, so we spent three or four years at least um, um, getting them the equipment they needed from Congress and a, a reluctant administration. Um, and it uh, uh, was a very defining uh, event for us, but we did it on behalf of the comrades that he had that um, um, survived. Mm -hmm. And we felt um, uh, through all of this chaos that um, the fact that uh, he died protecting um, two others, he and a Lieutenant Bernstein both perished, protecting two others that survived and some other vehicles in the convoy. And that uh, is how we come to, to terms with the service he provided to the country. This is an important time for Americans to take account of the last 20 years and assess where we stand and whether we'll be defined um, as an, a, an event of tragedy or um, goodness that we create from tragedy and, um, and, and, and be the better for it. We really look at this as supporting the people that helped us mm -hmm. and recognizing the tremendous sacrifice that New York and the Pentagon and um, Pennsylvania took as well as people from our hometown in, in Boston and uh, we are trying to make something uh, useful and productive out of it for our grandchildren yeah. and uh, uh, for the many thousands of uh, men and women that uh, went into harm's way um, over this, these last two decades um, because of this terrible tragedy. You don't have to do some big heroic thing you can do a small thing for your community that every day makes things a little better. That's be Americans and stand up together. Yeah, putting, putting community first, putting the country above political and uh, party affiliations um, and addressing what makes us uh, an exceptional country in our own right is um, the good things that people do for one another. Um, you could teach children to read. You could um, mentor um, young, young people. You could uh, pack packages for people deployed or at home and locked in um, a terrible pandemic. Mm -hmm. um, food there, pantries. Food pantries. There are opportunities. And I think the country is looking for a direction to move forward in some positive step. And this is, uh, we think, the absolute best way to do it um, at the present time. And so we are really proud to have the opportunity to um, stand in line with um, the first responders and 9-11 uh, families that have made this possible. And, um, um, you know, we're, we're here to serve. There is a point when you have to dry your tears, and stand up, and move forward. Mm -hmm. And just, if we all pick something. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you don't have to be a hero to help. <laughs>